Since 2019, company Maspo has been conducting research and development into geothermal power. This binary geothermal power plant could change the entire power system of Turkey. But how does it even work? And what makes geothermal energy so powerful? First, we need to understand what geothermal energy is and how the energy is harnessed. Geothermal energy uses superheated fluids from below the Earth to generate electricity. Underneath the Earth's surface are reservoirs of water, superheated by the magma even further below it. It all starts with the production well. This is the passage drilled into the Earth's crust to reach the hot geothermal fluid underneath. A ground survey allows people to discover where wells can be drilled and plan accordingly. The well is drilled to a depth of 3,000 meters, which takes an average of 35 days. During this process, no harm is done to the agricultural lands. Groundwater, or brine, is then extracted from the well. By the time it reaches the surface, its temperature reaches 165 degrees Celsius. This geothermal fluid is then piped into the vaporizer. The vaporizer is filled with motive fluid or any fluid with a lower boiling point than water. Pipes filled with geothermal fluid run through the vaporizer, transferring the heat from it into the motive fluid. This causes the motive fluid to evaporate. The motive fluid vapor is then directed to the turbines, producing rotational shaft power, which is then transformed by the generator into electricity. The electricity travels onward into transformers and then supplied to the national grid. The motive fluid vapor, having done its job, gets sent through a recuperator and into condensers, where it turns back into a liquid. Once again, the liquid motive fluid goes through the recuperator, absorbing heat from the vapor headed towards the condensers. This helps cool the vapor, while jump-starting the boiling process the liquid will go through when it's sent back into the vaporizer. There, it'll absorb heat from geothermal fluid again and continue the cycle. Meanwhile, the used geothermal fluid is also used to heat the liquid motive fluid before it goes back into the vaporizer, helping the process along. Once the geothermal fluid has cooled, it's injected back into the ground through injection wells, safely returned to nature. It's all part of a continuous cycle. Nearly all geothermal fluid is recycled, minimizing waste.